In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make palm nut soup in just 25 minutes. This is goat meat. This is, I've had this like after Christmas. This is um, some beef, you know, um, well washed. I also have some mushrooms that I'm going to be using. So basically, I'm just showing you all like um, my protein for the soup. First off, I start by using lime to wash the beef because I don't know but the meat over here has some kind of um smell so in my language we call it nying nying I don't know what is I don't know how it's being called in English but if you know you know what nying nying I means <laughs> please let me know in the comment section so that's why I use the lime to wash the beef you know I mean to I just add the lime to the beef and afterwards I just rinse it with water and make sure I rinse it very well. Like as you can see, you know, I'm constantly using my hands to like, you know, rinse it very, very well. Cause I want it very clean. And that is what I am doing. So <laughs> one just fell and I had to, you know, pick that one up later and then wash it separately. But after doing this, after doing this, the next thing for me to do is to use my you know spices okay so here i'm using different spices or seasoning to um you know season the meat because i am going to go ahead and roast it in um an air fryer for some number of minutes probably like 25 minutes so i add like a little bit of every spices on the meat okay usually um i love my spices to be very natural and all of these are natural and yeah it, it does the work for me so i try as much as i can to use natural spices yeah as you can see so a little goes a long way so just a little bit of everything in between afterwards i just go over I mean, after I just, you know, um, mix it up, I have to make sure that every um, every meat, you know, is well covered with the seasoning. So that's what I'm doing, like mixing it up very well to make sure that every single meat is well covered with the seasoning. I'm doing this because, like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, roast this um, beef in an air fryer. So I must as well make sure that like everything is well missed. And that is what you're seeing me do. Yeah, guys, just look at it. It looks good already. Then I get my air fryer and I put all the meat. So my air fryer is not that big. You know, the space is not enough. So I'm going to do this in batches. I'm not going to use all the meat for the soup no i'm gonna you know roast everything but like I'm, i'll save like half of it and use it for something later so right now i'll just like you know roast half of the meat as you can see me putting them in the air fryer yeah just like that you all look at it it looks good tell me tell me <laughs> okay so right afterwards i just you know put it back in the um, air fryer, I set the timer and I told you guys I'm gonna roast it, right? So, yeah, I'll set the timer to 25 minutes. Yeah, and then afterwards, I'll just start it on and voila! <laughs> I go ahead while I have it on, I go ahead and wash my vegetables that I'm gonna use for the soup. So, yeah, that's my onions. I have some um, ginger, I have some garlic, like you can see. Yeah, I have two onions because I'm going to blend one. And then I go ahead and add my pepper. So this habanero pepper is very spicy. And you have to just use a little of it. Because if you decide to use more, girl, you're going to kill yourself. <laughs> when, I, when I moved to the U.S., I didn't know that this was so spicy. But uh, so I used to like overuse it and... Even though I love Pepe, sometimes it was very unbearable. So just so you know, this ninja, this ninja blender is a lifesaver. Like I love using this. It makes my work so easy. So kudos to Ninja, the Ninja brand. Like I love this product so much. 
and i'm not doing any form of advertisement for the brand but you know i love it i go ahead and add some more spices to my um vegetables yeah so this all these are natural spices natural spices like keyword is natural i go ahead and blend then i put um uh, my goat so this goat meat is what i had for christmas it's already been roasted and seasoned that is why i didn't do much then i go ahead and add my blended vegetables inside the pot i mean the saucepan whatever you would call it then i check on my meat look at how you know it is looking it looks so good i love it but i want it to be more you know um i wanted to roast more so i'll just put it back in the oven like before i do that i'll just you know make sure i turn it over to see the part that needs to be roasted more then i just put it back in the oven to you know um let it finish roasting now it's done roasting so i just put it in the pot together with the you know already roasted goat meat and the vegetables that i blended so i put it inside the the um saucepan to you know make sure it marinates well with the vegetable the vegetables i've blended that's what you see me doing i take my time because i feel like cooking should not be a rush cooking for me is a form of therapy i think yeah it's a therapy for me i'll go ahead and add my um paste tomato paste and remember i had two onions right i put one of it inside the pot and i put one tomatoes inside the pot this is not gonna be like um any um large amount of soup so i don't have to use so much tomatoes right but i love onions so much because this i love natural i'm uh, natural stuff generally so i love everything natural like you can see so i just open it to check on it then i go over to wash my mushrooms so that's what i'm about to do to wash the mushrooms while i have um the pot on fire cooking so here's what i do i put everything in the clean water then i pick i pick everything one after the other and i wash it thoroughly the mushrooms here are not so dirty like what we have in ghana because that one you have to like do so much but even though this is dirty it's not as dirty like what we have in ghana so i'm gonna wash it well but i'm not gonna do too much guys please please pardon me i think i have um cold so if my if i sound um a little bit funny um just pardon me because i have cold so i guess um it may come out quite funny but yeah just letting you guys know so while i wash the um, mushrooms i make sure i scrape it i scrape it well like i scrape it well with a knife you know to take out all the dirt and everything so i take my time with the mushroom make sure i wash it very very well because one uncomfortable thing that i don't like is you know when you're eating and you have to like hit on sand or hit on stones it's very uncomfortable and i would not want to do that as so i'm as much as i can i try to avoid that so here i'm taking all of my time to wash the mushrooms very well so this is how you have to do it you know make sure you do it gently make sure you do it very because well, you know mushrooms are very delicate and if you use for us you're gonna you know so like you can see well washed looking all clean yeah we go back to the um to the soup i add some water to it to make sure it boils very well and i stir a little bit please don't judge me okay i've always been saying i need to get a ladle but i have been saying for i've been saying this for the longest i never do however like i'm just doing with what i have you know so it does the job so why not <laughs> yeah so after i add the water i just you know let it boil for a while and then um the next thing i have to do is take out the tomatoes because tomato is you know very 
it doesn't have to go through much process so i take it out i think the onion is still a little bit hard so i'll let that you know boil a little bit before taking it out yeah and that is the magic product we are using today this video is not sponsored by this brand but if you're living abroad if you're living outside your home country sometimes you feel like eating your home food even though this is this does not taste as original as the you know as a natural palm nut we can always do with this like just to um still make us feel a little bit at home so this is what i'm using today the praise palm cream that is what we are gonna be using for the palm nut soup yeah i'm trying and before one thing you guys saw me wash it before opening it right yeah you have to make sure that you wash everything kind before you open it because somebody told me american germs are not dangerous but trust me they do so much so this is how it looks like i'm just i just want you guys to see the texture that is how it looks like and guys i don't know what happened but unfortunately i th i can't find the footage for the part that i was you know adding the palm cream to the soup so i'm sorry guys i don't know what happened it's either i did not you know shoot that part or i thought i was shooting it but anyways so this is what we have now yeah this is it it's looking so yummy tell me tell me guys tell me what you think so yeah i go ahead and take out the the onions right and yeah because i want to blend it together with the tomato so i get i go ahead and take it out of the soup and then i stir a little bit just look at all of that goodness Ooh, this is so good so yeah i put it back in the ninja blender this blender is just a lifesaver as small as it is trust me it is mighty <laughs> it is mighty like it is good i love the results it always gives me when i use it to blend my stuff so yeah i just go ahead and put every single thing in the blender then i just blend it's not gonna take me like even three minutes to get everything mushed smushed yeah so blend 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 <laughs> yeah this is it this is it you blend it as as much as you can to make sure everything is smashed so that's what we have i go ahead and pour it in my soup like you can see so much goodness this soup is as natural as you can see very natural i go ahead stir everything you know make sure everything is well put together yeah i stay very well after stirring this and making sure everything is mixed up the next thing i have to do can you guess what i have to do next of course yeah the next thing i have to do is go ahead and you know look at how it's boiling just look at it so much goodness i love soup soup i love soup so much <laughs> yeah so while it's boiling i will just you know um go ahead and add my mushrooms before i add my mushrooms i would want to you know just taste the soup to make sure that everything in the soup you know um tastes exactly as i want it so before that i'll just stir it make sure everything is you know well mixed then i'll go ahead and taste the soup so before i do that oh guys the soup is very hot you don't expect me to you know just taste it right away so i have to make sure it cools down a little bit before tasting it after tasting the soup the next thing i will do is go ahead and add the mushrooms the mushrooms needed to be added last because like i said mushrooms are very delicate and it doesn't take long for them to cook 
That is why that was the last thing I added to the soup. And when I tasted the soup, I realized that it lacked a little bit of salt. So while I just added the mushrooms, I'll just go ahead and add just a little bit of salt because too much salt is not good. Afterwards, I'll, I'll try and, you know, mix it well with um, whatever I have. <laughs> make sure it's well mixed. Make sure the salt, you know, goes everywhere. And then um, just to be sure, I'll taste again. And once it's good, I'm done. I'm not going to add any more salt to it. And yeah, I tasted it. It was good. And that's it. I'll go ahead and cover. Make sure, you know, it boils a little because I just added the mushrooms. I just added some salt. And I have to make sure that, you know, it boils a little so that everything mixes up very well. I go ahead and, you know, tan my... Um, yeah, and this is what we have, guys. This is what we have. Look at this goodness. Tell me you don't want to try this. Let me know if you guys want to try this, and I'll send it to you wherever you are. But this is what we have. Promna soup cooked in just 25 minutes. You can do this, too.